Damn it, Charles. Those accursed sea storms. If only we'd been here earlier. I oh, know. But as Charles would say... Another day, another soul to save. These people are idiots if they believe prayer will save them. slept for fear you would not come. I'm at a loss. Would God even allow me to drag you into these... these dark times? Esther, you're not alone now. We're here. I'm so sorry we didn't get here on time. Truly. I know. Charles kept saying it. Have faith. They will come. If only he had kept his faith himself. What happened to him? Poor Charles. Just one more victim of the curse of New Eden. You know how he is. Was. Restless. Impatient. It's not that he gave up on you, his friends. But that he could wait no more. I believe he tried to lift the curse. I too have questions. But I have no answers. Nor do I now have a husband. How were things, you know, before all this? Before the curse? It was a busy and exciting time. Charles immersed himself in the community here. He had a hand in everything. The people came to rely on him. I'm sure they look to someone else now, but I can't imagine it's the same. What can you tell me about the esteemed Governor Haskell? Fairfax Haskell is well read and educated, but at times his back can be too stiff. He shares Charles's interest in the unknown, but his passion seems less than practical. He's an academic. Still, good to know our patron has some understanding of our work. We met the captain too, along with the huntress, Thickskin. Do you know them? I find Thickskin Newsmith's manner a little frightening, but I think she has a good heart. A fine hunter by all accounts. Captain Pennington comes with a reputation for soldiering. He comports himself with a wry dignity, but I suspect that beneath it all, he's just... sad. Charles thought so too. There are wounds beneath Saul Pennington's armor, he said, that time and God have not yet healed. Is there anything we should know about? Lord, deliver me, for I cannot endure this. I cannot endure it, and Charles does not deserve it. Anything at all, Esther. Please. I have felt Charles present about the house. His ghost lingers. He needs help. If he's here, I promise I will know no rest until he has his. You can count on us. We'll start with the house. 
Charles's papers are gathered in his office. Take what you need. Thank you, Esther. We'll take a look around, if that's all right. May I be of any help? You stay put. We'll find the way. Porcelain saw many a dinner turned lecture with Charles. I miss him so. So do we, Esther. Where are you staying, my dears? The governor had a... The schoolhouse. Wouldn't you rather stay here? You'd be more comfortable. It's very kind, but with a long day ahead of us. I don't want to bother you. I don't have much. But promise me you'll come for dinner tomorrow. Of course. There's more to learn here. This is Charles's. It's like he never left. Have you received other visitors? Most dare not leave their homes. Although Mr. Bachelor came to see me. That was nice of him. I didn't know Elnor and Charles were still in touch. The St. Paul Brotherhood is a tie that binds. Charles was so eager to continue his research here in New Eden. If only we had known what would befall us. Purcell, could you find nothing better? These days I lack the heart to play. Can't believe you brought your piano forte to New England. It cost a fort. Charles is still here and Esther is completely distraught. She lost him and now he's back, a ghastly figure. It must be unbearable. Remember when he started to wear these, to look wiser and older? <laughs> he was hiding his hair loss.
Charles's notes mention Job, chapter 7, verses 13 to 15. I'll look for that reference. Red, you dropped something. Mm hmm. These notes are erratic ramblings. Charles was worried about the curse plaguing the settlers' dreams. How malicious is this curse tormenting people in their beds? That's from the set he taught me with. I'd know it anywhere. Did he keep it to remind them of his favourite? Or to remind him that he had yet to beat me. When I first met Charles, he was reading his Bible in a noisy tavern. I was drunk. He pretended not to notice. I can still picture him crafting your very first Bane ring. You sound much more fond of the moment now than you were back then. Bit green for an actual haunting, you said. <laughs> you were. Still, you did all right. Faith always was his beacon in the darkness. Something must have really triggered him if he lost his edge. Charles always wore this brooch. His things are untouched. Nothing's moved. Got enough books, Charles. I should have known you wouldn't travel without them. Esther couldn't attend Charles's burial. Poor woman. That's terrible for her. Esther never got to say farewell to Charles. I could have made him manifest. Now that we know why he might be back, we should go investigate the cemetery where he was found. Are you leaving already? We need to investigate the cemetery. 
What will you do for my Charles? If he's present, we'll find him. Then we'll ask him what he wants us to do. Must I see him too? First, let's find out what happened. After that, we'll see. Best get started. Time may be against us. You be all right? I doubt it, but I'll do my work all the same. We came here to help Charles and help Charles with Charles. Ask around. See what people will tell you. I'll go to the cemetery and do the same. Be careful. Aye. You too. <laughs> 